Well, I never thought I'd see the day where I'd be covering Minecraft YouTuber propaganda on this channel, but here we are. Because there is a situation here that has just continued to get worse and worse. And that is the jet starfish theory, which is honestly pretty close to a conspiracy theory at this point. But that's besides the point. This issue is worse than I had actually thought it was and in a quite specific way. So in this video, I'm basically going to be to some extent defending Jet Starfish. Sort of. You'll see what I mean. It wasn't long ago that Jet Starfish, a Minecraft YouTuber, published a video trying to fix issues with Minecraft's exploration. Every change that he made in that video was good, more or less, except for the deep dark explorer map and locking that behind the ender dragon. So I've said this before, but all around it was a pretty good video. And yet, despite this, a YouTuber named The Haze released a video titled Jet Starfish's Exploration Videos, Terrible Here's Why. And this video wasn't very good. Certainly worse than Jet's, it was technically propaganda by some terms. It was very clearly made to try to villainize Jet in some way, and Hayes actually lies several times throughout the video, even lies about Jet lying. It's an interesting cycle. They were very hypocritical in some areas, like criticizing Jet for not liking desert wells, saying that their flavor for the game, I think they meant atmosphere by that, and then they go on to say that Jungle temples are objectively the worst structure in the game. That is a lie on their part. It wasn't objective, that was subjective, their opinion. And even more weirdly, aren't jungle temples also flavor just for the jungle biome? This was one of many examples of them lying throughout the video and being pretty hypocritical. And I assure you there is a reason that I'm returning to this. Hopefully this is the last time that I have to talk about these videos. Another example of a lie in Hayes' video I'll give you is at the end of Jet's video, he states that his mod doesn't force anything upon the player, which is true. Yet Hayes says he's lying for some reason with the Ancient City, even though he isn't. You can still visit the Ancient City before the Ender Dragon, it is just a little bit rarer. I could go on and on with all of the lies in that video, but it would just be a waste of time at this point. But perhaps the biggest problem with the videos that, again, is very biased trying to villainize Jet for some reason, and the big issue is that Hayes states their speculations and opinions as fact throughout the entire video. They speculate that Jet is some evil scammer mastermind trying to scam people by selling the mod. And yet they say for a fact that he is. Obviously not in those exact words, but where this issue got way worse was what happened afterward that I didn't cover in my first video. Because now this is much more recent. Another YouTuber by the name of Zaluk uploaded a video this one just being titled, Jet Starfish is a Liar. And I'm going to be honest, when I first saw this video in the thumbnail, I genuinely thought that it was a joke. But I regrettably, to some extent, watched the video, and I immediately picked up on something very weird. The video was basically just copy and paste of the point that Hayes made. What on earth is the point of making a video that's just saying the same thing that someone else already just said? It's not a good practice. I, in all of my discussions, try to be unique in what I have to offer in terms of ideas. But I looked in the description of the video and saw, lo and behold, they were inspired by the haze. They consumed that original propaganda video by Hayes, and it clearly worked on them. Because Zalek's video was perhaps even worse. They just started out immediately by throwing all of these insults at Jet with basically no evidence, and then stating it as fact when it was once again just that same speculation. Now, 
why would someone do this? Well, and this is speculation, I will note it because I'm not a hypocrite, probably I think out of greed. I'll elaborate a bit more on that later, but now let's get to why I don't think Jet is this terrible person that people are making him out to be. So, let's say I'm a Minecraft YouTuber with something around 100,000 subscribers, I have a pretty big following, and I want to scam people and make a lot of money quickly and easily. What am I gonna do? Any number of things. It's relatively easy to scam people nowadays. Influencer scams are pretty common. I could do something like, say, crypto. That's really easy. I could make a bunch of money. But I'll tell you what I wouldn't do if I wanted to scam people. Take several months to make an entire Minecraft video essay, pay a mod developer hundreds of dollars to make a mod, and take all of the time to try and find issues that I have with this game and try to come up with actual solutions for them. That is exactly what I would not do if I was just some cheap scammer because it would be extremely impractical, it would be an immense waste of time and money. All of that research, all of that time trying to come up with ways to improve the game, why would I do that if I'm just in this for the money? That's a rhetorical question, I wouldn't. And about Jet purposefully omitting information, and I've seen people trying to say he knew he was breaking the law, and I did all of that with sinister intentions or whatever. First, Jet actually didn't really omit much information in the video. Hayes and Zalik cite as their primary evidence for this theory that Jet didn't include Swift Sneak when talking about the ancient city loot tables, yet he technically did in some way. He did include books, enchanted iron leggings, and enchanted diamond leggings. And of course, what's on all of those for enchantments is Swift Sneak. And Zalik and Hayes make this out to be a huge deal because supposedly Swift Sneak is some big game changer of an enchantment. But it's really not, if I'm being honest. Like, it's made mostly for builders, supposedly, and as someone who spends a lot of time building, I don't find it that useful. Really, the place that's the most useful in is the ancient city itself, so that's probably why Jet didn't spend a lot of time talking about it. Or perhaps he was just trying to keep the video shorter, because on YouTube it is much better for your audience retention to be as brief as possible. But the other thing with the biomes is when he's talking about changing ore generation in the biomes, Hayes and Zalik go on about Jet Starfish lying on how there's already unique ore generation in certain biomes. Even though he does include the Mesa for its unique gold generation, he uses that as an example. As for the mountains having more iron and coal, that's actually just a result of them being made out of stone and being at a higher altitude. It's easier to find them there not because of some special generation. And as for the dripstone caves, it seems like he was only talking about surface biomes, although I wouldn't blame him if he didn't know that copper spawns more in dripstone caves, because honestly I didn't know either. People don't very often come across large dripstone caves, and copper doesn't have that many practical uses and it's pretty niche as a building block, so it's just not used that often by most people. And then the other example is when Jet says the copper has like two uses. Obviously, that is a hyperbole. That was very obvious if you were watching the video and knew what a hyperbole was. Although he wasn't actually exaggerating that much, he was very clearly talking about practical uses, so not as building decorative blocks. There's only a few uses right now, that being spyglasses, lightning rods, brushes, and so on. And again, I don't think Hayes and Zalik are stupid. I think they understood that he was using hyperboles and just pretended that he wasn't, because then that gives them a more dramatic video. This is what I want to talk about with 
these videos by Hayes and Zalik being motivated by greed, at least from what I can tell. Think about it like this. Which do you think is going to do better on YouTube? A video about how Jet Starfish's new video has a couple of little errors in it, or a video calling him a fraud and scammer who's trying to steal your money. If you guessed the latter that's trying to villainize him, you would certainly be correct. Because that's exactly what happened. Hayes' video blew up and Zalix was also quite successful. Zalix being especially overdramatic. And I say this because, and this is kind of difficult to explain, but when you get into content creation about a specific game or subject, and you're really passionate about that, you can tell when another person on the platform is also passionate about the same thing, or if they're just in it for the money. Trust me, you can tell. And when I looked at just Starfish's video, I immediately knew he actually wants to improve the game. If he didn't, he wouldn't have taken all that time to think out solutions. Again, there was a bad change that he made, but still, he was doing what he thought was right, from what I can tell. So, when Hayes, another person on the platform, saw him as a villain, I was a bit confused. And it means one of three things about Hayes. Either, one, they are just very bad at reading people, Two, they're just not passionate enough to be able to identify people who are passionate. Or three, they knew Jet wasn't some lying scammer, and they just pretended he was for money. And unfortunately, boy did it work. Hayes managed to convince a bunch of people. Now, as for Zalik, they seem to be just one of the many people that fell victim to that rage bait. And what that unfortunately led to was Zalik making more rage bait propaganda of their own. You see what I mean about the cycle here? It's bad, and even worse for another reason. There are YouTubers who have been and still are doing exactly what Hayes and Zalik claimed Jet did. Some of those YouTubers with way more subscribers than Jet are just making mods behind Patreons or other paywalls, and then making videos to just advertise them and try to sell people on the mod. And guess how much backlash those people are getting? None. At all. And they're actually making content that's basically just ads for their mod. It is extremely unfair. I'm not going to call out those people by name because I don't want people hating them, but this really begs the question, why Jet? Out of all of the people doing this, and Jet, again, likely wasn't even one of them, why target Jet? Well, I can tell you why I think Hayes did, and that's because Jet was promoting aspects like exploration and progression, which Hayes doesn't think should be focused on in Minecraft. They essentially have different views on the Minecraft political spectrum, and so in that sense, Hayes seemingly decided to make literal propaganda attacking Jet for something else, and then Zalik was just a victim of that who bought into it. But to wrap this up, I'm going to say something very controversial. I don't think Jet is an evil criminal mastermind Sith Lord. <laughs> He's just a guy who saw some issues that he had with Minecraft and tried to improve them. And it's honestly tragic, it just further promotes this practice of making videos that just attack other people in the Minecraft community. People like Hayes, and again according to my speculation, are tearing others down to build themselves up, quite literally. And that... That kind of thing is nothing short of disgusting. That may be the harshest I've ever been on this channel, but it's the truth. People should always stick to reason, always question their sources and whether or not someone is really telling the truth. Otherwise, you might end up like Zalik, convinced that 
this person is your enemy even though they might really not be. It's a very sad example, essentially. Honestly, I didn't want to have to be here making this video. In fact, my next video was going to be the one about improving Minecraft's progression, but now that should be the next one after this one. Because I saw this as a sort of emergency, one-of-a-lifetime example of how misinformation can spread even in a place like the Minecraft community, and just how easy it is to make someone think of another person as evil just with a little bit of flashy editing on YouTube. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you'll stick around for the Improving Minecraft's progression video that should be next. Goodbye.